welcome back to another reaction video it's your boy bob welcome back and we're gonna do something a little different this time this time we are going to um look at a video from let me see who is this uh from i think jimmy high roller i guess that's his name um he actually has some this came across my desk and he's actually remaking his goat pyramid for the nba and yeah it's been causing a little bit of controversy a little bit so this came across my desk so we're gonna react to this let's get it so this right here is basically for the basketball heads if you're into sports i mean you can relate to it if not then we're just gonna go with the flow but yes this is the goat pyramid so we're about to go ahead and check this out and see what this is already i'm already seeing some suspects already with these tears so <laughs> yeah let's get it about three years ago, I released my GOAT pyramid, featuring 30 of what I believe to be the greatest NBA players of all time. And okay. it's okay, but it could, uh, it could use some work. So today, we're going to be updating the NBA GOAT pyramid. Okay, he's gonna be updating it. Cool. Today's video is brought to you by SeatGeek. A new NBA season is upon us. Just look at it. Ain't it beautiful? And with the season underway, SeatGeek is here to get us back in on the action. Check this out. Just download the SeatGeek app and use the promo code Jimmy to get $20 off your first order. Yeah. SeatGeek makes buying Seat tickets Geek. easier than ever before with a rating system that lets you know which tickets are a good deal and which tickets are a bad deal. If it's green, that's a banger. You're getting a good deal there. Red? Not so much. I've been using SeatGeek for years. It's simple, it's okay. easy, and it's a surefire way to get the best deal for your tickets. I've been on it a it's couple a concert, times, but I haven't really game, liked football, baseball, used festival. It as much. SeatGeek's got it all. Download the app, use promo code Jimmy, and get twenty dollars off your first order Jimmy. Okay. today. All right, cool. Now we know his name. A few weeks ago, Shaq shared this basketball goat pyramid on Instagram, and I only know this because people were tagging me in the comments, thinking it was mine. But it's not. The dead giveaway no, was LeBron not. being on tier three. Also, current day Steph on tier four was a massive red flag. And a pretty solid yeah. player by the name of Hakeem Olajuwon was nowhere to be found on this pyramid at all. So as cool as it would be to have Shaq share some content from the channel, this NBA GOAT pyramid is from someone else. But it did okay. get me thinking. With all of the events that have taken place over the last four NBA seasons, I think it's four time years. we update our GOAT pyramid. So here's the pyramid I made three years ago, May 23rd, 2019 to be exact. Which wow. means since this video was released, four new teams have been crowned champions, four MVPs have been awarded, and there has been three and a half seasons worth of NBA context to consider for our new pyramid. Now I want to keep this new pyramid okay, at 30 cool. players like our original one. So if I players. add any players, I unfortunately have to take players off as well. And just like with my original GOAT pyramid, there are a few factors okay. I'm going to be considering throughout cool, this process. Cool, cool. A player peak which i value more than longevity their accomplishments and hardware their skill and ability and even the era that they played in and of course okay. just like with my original goat pyramid these selections are all based on my personal opinion so on with his that personal out of the way, opinion let's Ooh. make some changes to this pyramid so first things first i have to make one massive adjustment to the top of this pyramid Oh, come on man to deliver the really energy america needs today while developing lower carbon alternatives Right. Some may agree with it, some may not. But after winning his fourth championship and fourth finals MVP while climbing every all-time leaderboard over the last four seasons, LeBron James has earned a spot in Tier 1. Because at this oh point, the all-time discussion has virtually become Michael... Bruh, are you serious? Like, I'm not even going to take that away from him. But the reason why I said that is because everybody has been pitting them to against each other for decades like decades decades like when he was even first thought of they was like oh man he's coming out of the box he he's thinking about you know he's similar to jordan but i'm like at the first beginning he had a lot to grow you know had a lot to grow on he wasn't that that goat status as he is now but now you know years later 
yeah, I agree with him. He earned a spot at Terra 1. But let's go ahead and continue on with this because I'm pretty sure he's going to have a reason and explanation of why he's at Terra 1. Honestly, them two, so far he's got it right. Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and then everyone else. I still have MJ as the GOAT, but the gap between MJ and LeBron feels smaller than the gap between LeBron and whoever comes next. So yes. I feel this change was necessary and well earned. But that leaves us with three players on tier two. And that just looks weird. So when considering peaks and accolades and impact on the game and every other factor I can conjure up, I've decided to move Bill Russell and Larry Bird up to tier two. In our original okay. pyramid, I had Magic on tier two and Bird on tier three. But with LeBron moving up, this gives room for Bird and Magic to be on the same tier as okay. they should be. And Bill Russell, 11 rings, greatest defensive player of all time. There's not yeah. much to be said here. Yeah. Now, there's two players in particular who have solidified their legacies over the last four seasons and have earned spots on Tier 3 with Shaq, Hakeem, Duncan, and Wilt. Those players are, of course, Steph Curry and Kevin Durant. And Kevin Since Durant, 2019, yes. 2019, Steph has proven without I a agree shadow with of a doubt that he's the greatest shooter of all time. And after winning his fourth championship and first finals MVP last season, he's made the jump into Tier 3. Steph's brilliance and consistency season after season has extended his prime past where I think most fans would have ever considered. Now in his 13th season, at 34 years old, he's not only one of the best players in the league, he's putting together arguably the best season of his historic career and the same could be said for Kevin Durant he's got all the yes. hardware a league MVP two championships and two finals MVPs but what has bumped Durant from tier 4 into tier 3 is his relentless consistency as a generational talent since 2019 he's made two more all NBA teams while averaging 29 yep. 7 and 6 and this has earned him the jump from tier 4 to tier 3 and right that brings us up. to tier four, which has some pretty major changes to it. And our first change comes with John Stockton, who gets demoted into tier uh -oh. five, which puts him at about the fifth or sixth greatest point guard of all time, behind Magic, Steph, Oscar, and Isaiah. Scotty yep. Pippen also got demoted to tier five. Oh, I made this decision really? because despite Scotty's critical role throughout the Bulls dynasty, his talents as an individual player just don't warrant him a spot amongst players like Oscar Robertson, Carl Malone, and Julius Irving. And unfortunately, okay. Dwayne Wade and Isaiah Thomas get demoted wow. into Tier 5 as well. All-time great players. But being in Tier 4 means a player is, at worst, a top 21 player of all time. And I just okay. don't consider Wade or Isaiah to be of that caliber. But I would consider them both to be top 30 players of all time, with similar relatively short but brilliant peaks and playoff heroics throughout their careers. Okay. And with these changes, Tier 4 becomes a barren wasteland with only three players. So we've got some promoting to do, starting with Jerry West, 12 All-NBA teams, Finals MVP, and five All-Defensive Team selections with career averages of Never 27, heard of him that, as much. and 5 a game. The only other players in NBA history to achieve these career averages are LeBron James and Kevin Durant. So okay. the logo gets the bump into Tier 4. My next promotion goes to Moses Malone three-time league MVP, a finals MVP, and one of the greatest rebounders the game has ever seen. Honestly, he should have never been in tier five to begin with. So let's put him where he truly Honestly. belongs. And my last pair of promotions goes to Dirk Nowitzki and Kevin Garnett. The Kevin individual Garnett. dominance of both KG and Dirk that spanned over two decades is matched by only a handful of all-time greats. But if not their sustained excellence over the course of 21 seasons, it was their massive peaks that earned them a spot in tier four. Kevin two of Garnett, the most haven't heard from him in a while. An imposing big man the game has ever seen which leaves us with tier five and some tough decisions to make. There are only two players that made my original GOAT pyramid that did not make the cut in my new pyramid. And those players are Bob Pettit and Allen Iverson. But with all Ooh. these adjustments, there are now two spots open for two new players. AI of all is the gone. players who missed the cut the first time around, the players who I considered for my new pyramid were Giannis Antetokounmpo, Nikola Jokic, James Harden, Chris Paul, and Kawhi Leonard. Of all the actors, Okay, this is my thing. I haven't even noticed all of them weren't even on the pyramid. But I understand rightfully why they're not on the pyramid. Yeah, I, I, yeah, okay. I, I understand that. But 
Yeah. They they're all still in the league right now. So they still have some time to grow as this time goes by. Like he said, he's gonna do a revision on the pyramid. So everything should be pretty good with that. Like I can see Harden going. Giannis, I can see him going as well on the pyramid. Chris Paul, um, possibly Kawhi Leonard can probably go on the pyramid too. But you know, other than that, I mean, I see how he's keeping it. He's trying to keep it at thirty men. So if it was like an exception of having more than thirty, then he can. These are the possible five can be up there, and those are good fives. But also, this is based on now. This is not, you know, these five can actually make it on the top 30 list for him. I mean, honestly, I would have Harden, Giannis, and Kawhi up there. Chris Paul probably got some work to do. And Nikolai, he probably got some work to do a little bit more. So that's my opinion anyway. But as far as I know, with the pyramid, it's looking solid. So, yeah, let's keep it moving. To players in the NBA, aside from LeBron, Steph, and Durant, these are the only players who even have a shot at making the pyramid. And since my original pyramid three and a half years ago, Nikola Jokic has made four all NBA teams, three of them okay. being first team selections. He's won back to back MVPs, he's led the Nuggets to the conference finals, and he's put up two of the most historically efficient and productive seasons in league history. It's only a matter of time before Jokic joins the yeah, GOAT pyramid, matter of time. but at the moment, it's just a bit too soon. Now, for the case of James Harden, I had to sit and really think about his potential addition to the pyramid. Harden had one of the highest offensive peaks in league history, averaging yep. 31, 8, and 6 a game over the course of six seasons. He's won an MVP, he's made seven All-NBA teams, and he's just yep. one of seven players in NBA history to win a scoring title and an assist title. But where James Harden falls short compared to other players on the pyramid is his performance in the playoffs. He just yep. hasn't broke through on the biggest yep. stage. And the heliocentric offense that allowed him to put up such unbelievable stat lines became a weak point to his teams in the postseason. So for now, James Harden does not crack the GOAT pyramid. The next player no. I considered was Chris Paul, one of the most complete point guards in recent years. And despite his lack of playoff success, he has managed to completely transform every team he's been a part of. CP3 is a tricky one because as I touched on before, if you compare Chris Paul to John Stockton, who is in tier 5 on my pyramid, their careers are almost Very identical. Very similar. And after yeah, CP3's similar. first trip to the finals last season, their overall numbers and accomplishments only become more and more similar with time. Chris okay. Paul had a higher peak, but Stockton's record-breaking ability to generate offense for nearly two decades while being a lockdown perimeter defender gives him a razor-thin edge over CP3 in my opinion. So for now, okay. Chris Paul doesn't quite crack tier 5, which leaves us with the two new additions to my GOAT pyramid, Giannis Antetokounmpo and Kawhi Leonard. Now since my original pyramid, which was released just before the end of the 2019 season, Giannis has went from a great, young, ascending player to a certified all-time great. In just three and a half years, go. Giannis three won a championship, years. two MVPs, a finals MVP, defensive player of the year, four all-NBA first teams, four all-defensive first teams, and an all-star game MVP, while averaging 30 points, 12 rebounds, and six assists per game. That's a pretty solid three and a half year stretch for the big man. Yeah. So I had to add Giannis to the pyramid. And I'm going to put him comfortably in tier four. Ooh, and with he our made second pyramid. Lowe's knows that when you get more savings, you get a lot more God knows with deals to kick off new projects. So you it can just get nice. Come on. Keep it fresh. And kick back and relax. Make the most of your summer now with great savings. Oh, they really wilding right now with the final edition. Kawhi Leonard is added to tier five. My tier original five. pyramid was created three weeks before Kawhi won his second championship and second finals MVP, which led to his greatness stock skyrocketing. Now, Kawhi is a tough player to rank among any all time scenario because when he's playing, he's one of the greatest players to ever lace up. But over the last few seasons, he just hasn't laced up a whole lot. But it's impossible to look past his two finals MVPs and his run as the best two-way player in the NBA. So Kawhi gets added to the pyramid, but just barely sneaking into tier five. 
Here for there it is, my updated NBA GOAT pyramid. And I want to point out a few interesting things that I noticed throughout the process of making this. If we break down the pyramid by position, there are six point guards, three shooting guards, eight small forwards, six power forwards, and seven centers featured on the pyramid. I initially wow. thought centers would have the largest presence here with big men running the league for nearly six decades, but turns out a well-rounded, versatile wing has been the ideal archetype for a potential NBA great. If we break the GOAT pyramid down by the decade that each player was drafted in, then we'll find that among all players who made it onto the pyramid, four of them were drafted in the, in the 50s, three were drafted in the 60s, two were drafted in the 70s, a whopping 10 players were drafted in the 80s, five in the 90s, four in the 2000s, and two in the 2010s. And since most players peak in the decade after they were drafted, it wow. can be said that the 90s were the best era for NBA basketball, or at least yes. the era that featured the most all-time great talent. Giannis is the youngest player featured on this pyramid at just 28 years old, completely bypassing Tier 5 altogether and landing on Tier 4 after just 9 seasons in the NBA. This puts wow. Giannis somewhere between the 15th and 20th best player all time. Giannis' ascent amongst the greatest players of all time was pretty quick, but we've seen a rapid climb to basketball royalty like this before. Back in 1996, the NBA announced the 50 greatest NBA players to commemorate the league's 50th anniversary. And despite some backlash on the selection, a 24-year-old Shaquille O'Neal was selected as a top 50 player all time after just four seasons in the NBA. The second youngest player that was selected for that exclusive greatest 50 club was Scottie Pippen, who was 31. Back in 2009, sports writer wow. and analyst Bill Simmons released his original basketball pyramid that featured 96 players. At the time, LeBron James was just 24 years old in his sixth NBA season. He hadn't won a league MVP yet, he had only made nope. one trip to the finals at that point, and he just hit his peak. But a young LeBron not only made Bill's GOAT basketball pyramid, he was already so transcendently good that Simmons selected him as the 20th greatest 20th. player in NBA history. And after the last half decade Giannis has put together, he has slingshotted himself onto the same trajectory. Now I have to mention the handful of players that just narrowly missed the cut. Those players were Steve Nash, Patrick Ewing, Allen Iverson, Jason Kidd, Bob Pettit, Bob Cousy, James Harden, Chris Paul, Nikola okay. Jokic, and George Mikan. All great players, but when the spots are limited to just 30, the criteria when, to make yeah. the gold pyramid is a hefty one. I imagine if we redo this pyramid again in five years, we'll see Jokic on here, we might see Luka Doncic on here, or possibly yeah. James Harden and Chris Paul. Yeah. But for now, this is my new, and I think improved, NBA GOAT Pyramid. Let me know what you think. Which players are too low? Which players are too high? Who was left out that you think nice. should have made the cut? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, until next time. Nice video. Nice video. Very nice. Yes, I mean, if you feel like that things could be changed on the GOAT pyramid, you know, share your thoughts in the comment section because I think there should have been a couple of things that can be tweaked a little bit. Um, but pretty much most of everything he was saying, it was basically everything was good. Um, given the fact that it's only like 30 men, I can understand how come he was leave CP3 and Harden um, and all the rest of them were off. However, yeah, uh, it's kind of a tight goat pyramid, you know. I will actually side with that a little bit. Um, the pyramid altogether is is a solid pyramid, you know. So you know, after making some adjustments, and then, like I said, he's basing it on now. So he probably go back and change it in the next couple of years, and then it'll be redone up a different way. So you know, hey never know but if you're new welcome to the channel if you have already been subscribed to my channel and you just rocking with your boy thank you very much uh make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button um comment down below what you want me to react to next because this right here came across my desk a little bit so i just want to go ahead and get this out and everything since it's the nba finals upon us in a little bit so you know might put it, squeeze in a little bit of basketball you know basketball in there but other than that about this thing 
I'll see you in the next video. Um, yeah, over 700 subscribers. Yes, let's keep that up. Let's run the numbers up. Let's get it going, people. Let's get it going. I'm out this thing. Peace.